Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I created this beautiful smoky eye look for you guys. I really like how elegant this looks and how versatile this is. I feel like even if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, people of all age group can carry this look. It looks so good. I really, really like how it turned out and it's super easy. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And now without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so to start with, I'm going to use the e.l.f. concealer to prepare it for shadow and next up, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Eyeliner for a base for my smoky eye. Now, this is a very important step. It's going to make sure that your smoky eye looks blackest of black. Then, I'm going to blend the outer corners with a small pencil brush. Next up, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette and taking the black shade from it, I'm going to apply it all over the black gel liner that we applied earlier. Now, this is also going to set your eyeliner and make sure that it does not crease on your eyes and then I'm going to blend the edges with a small blending. Next up, I'm going to take two shades of brown and mix them in and then apply them on the outer edges of the black eyeshadow that we applied earlier. Now, this is just going to create a beautiful transition so that your smoky eye looks as blended as it can. Now, the key here is to blend your eyeshadows as well as you can. You have to transition your shadows from dark to light and you can use as many colors as you like. Now I'm going to take my mascara and apply it just so that I can prepare it for my lashes which I'm going to apply next. So this is how it looks. Now to make sure that my lash band is completely invisible I'm going to apply liner on the top part. Now moving on to the base I'm going to use the sugar alcoholic stick and just apply it just so that I have a cool and nice base to go for my foundation. For my foundation I'm going to use the mixture of sugar and lacme foundation. Now. There's no reason why I selected this foundation. You can use any. I selected these because it has one of them is lighter for me and one of them is darker for me. But the only mistake I did was that I did not think about the consistency of the foundation. So maybe you can mix, you know, both serum based foundation or both oil based foundation or both stick based foundation basically. So make sure you blend your foundation really, really well. For concealer, again, I'm going to go with the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer applying it only on the areas that I need. Now this is a highlighting shade for me so I'm going to apply it as my highlighting concealer that is on the inner corner of my eyes, on my chin, on the middle of my forehead, under my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. To blend my concealer I'm going to use the pack 272 concealer brush. To set my base I'm using the K Beauty banana powder. Now I'm going to apply it only on the areas that I used my concealer to prevent it from creasing. For my brows, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Brow Pencil. Now, this is a very, very thin brow pencil. So, it's going to give you hair-like strokes. So, that's what I'm going to be applying it under my brows to give it a base. And then, I'm going to fill the areas that are sparse. Now, I don't fill too much since I have good brows already. So, I'm just going to use the, the pencil to fill only on the areas we require. Using this pulley side to brush my brows and make sure the product is well blended. Next up on my blush, I'm going to take the Color Bar Cheek Illusion Blush and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm concentrating the product on the outer corners so that my face looks a lot lifted. Taking the Sugar Kajal, I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line and then I'm going to set it with black shadow and use the brown shades to blend my lower lash line that I use for my lid as well. Next up for my brow highlight, I'm going to use the highlighter shade from the palette and also apply it on my inner corners. Then for my highlighter, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Precious Petal Highlighter and for my lips, I'm taking the Half and Half Lip Liner and lining my lips with it. I'm not going to overline my lips since the lip shades that I'm going for is anyways going to give me a pumped effect. So, for my lips, I'm taking the Eba Cosmetic Lipstick. The details will be in the caption and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corners of my lips and also blend it with my lip liner. It's a very nice mauve tone shade which is going to give us a very nice dark lip. Then I'm going to apply a nude shade from Eva again and concentrate it only on the middle part of my lips. Now, as you can see, when I blend all of these colors together, it gives us a very beautiful transition ombre look. Now, for the hair, I did middle parting and I'm taking tiny strands of my hair and tie them at the back. It's very hard to explain. You can see exactly what I did and then I made a bun. Then I exercised with my silver junk jewelry and it just completed the look. This is how the look turned out. I think it looks very, very, very elegant. I really like how timeless this look is. And I love that the lip is not your usual nude. It has that ombre effect. It looks dark, 
but also not overpowering the eyes. And yeah, I really like how this look turned out. I hope you guys did too. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. If you're watching till now, first of all, thank you so much. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, then make sure you like this video, comment below, let me know your thoughts. And also subscribe to my channel for more such content. And also you can follow me on my Instagram for more beauty uploads. And I hope to see you in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.